Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. During the years of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors. And for once, his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. One Silver, on the trail of the Black Arrow. Hail Silver! Hoy! One night, while a coyote howled from a ridge and the pale stars glittered over the western plains, two men squatted on their heels beside a buffalo chip fire. Under their weather-beaten Stetsons, their eyes were cold and sharp as they watched each other. And the holsters of their six guns were strapped tight to their thighs, a sure sign that neither man trusted the other. You'd as soon kill me as look at me, Slater. I know that for a fact. You're not exactly fond of me either, Purdy. <laughs> If you were lost on the plains and up to your neck in quicksand, and I had a rope to pull you out, I'd throw it the other way and laugh. We understand each other. You and me are business partners, nothing more. It suits me down to the ground. Do we get this deal run off? It's a truce, Savvy. Aye, Savvy. Much as I dislike you, I long for cash. That's what we're after. Kino, just so as you understand. And get busy. Start explaining. There's a twig right beside you. Yeah. Now, this marks the course of the Yellow Dog River. Like this, wandering north. Yeah? Can you make it out? Fire's bright enough. Now, this is us, right here. How far to the Yellow Dog? Oh, 40, 50 miles. Uh. Now, the trail bends past the blockhouse, goes up the right bank of the Yellow Dog, maybe 30 miles. Go on. And this is it, Slater. Right on this spot, this is it. This is where we get that cash. You're mistaken, Purdy. I'm counting you out. That's where I get the cash. What do you... Yeah, Purdy, my six guns. You took your eyes off me when you started scratching in the ground. You didn't even hear my gun slide out of the holsters, Purdy. But you can hear this. Slater, don't shoot! Hello. There's a campfire up ahead. Ah, how to see horse can sight fire. The trail we've been following was made by two riders. Where's the second horse? I don't, I do not know. Something looks wrong there, Kimosabi. What's that horse nuzzling? That dark shape beside the fire. It looks like... Hello. Ah, 
That looked like man. Who? Who? Oh, Silver. Oh, oh. That man, all right. Uh, him dead. Yes. Not at close range. The looks of the fire, it must have happened at least six hours ago. That's right. He wasn't alone, Toto. Here are the marks of another man's boots. Another man murder. Take a look at that horse. Check his left hind shoe. Uh, Tonto, do that. Uh, steady. You not kick Tonto. Bonnie. Give Tonto hope. That's it. Uh, and good horse. Uh, Kimasabi, that same horse we follow for a long time but never see. Him got broken toe and left back shoe. This man, Purdy. Yes, the man we learned about from the mysterious girl, Tonto. We've gotten here too late. Ah, uh, him not talk anymore. Him never talk. Before he was shot, he used a twig to draw this in the dirt. Can you see it? No, uh, not clear enough to see. No, he fell across it. Most of the lines were rubbed out. That was a map, Kimosabe. Not do any good now. No. He had only... What matter? What you stare at? Out of his left arm. It's flung out with a hand close to the fire. Uh, Look at his wrist. Ah, uh, tattoo mark on wrist. Marker. Black arrow. to wander into the blockhouse? I'm looking for a plainsman by the name of Decker. Had a rendezvous with him at this garrison. Straight ahead, mister. That's him talking to Captain Wainwright. Thanks, soldier. Hold on to your scalp. To tell you the truth, Captain, I wouldn't give you a dead man's hand for your garrison here. You got 50 soldiers and every last one of them is ready to desert. You're entitled to your opinion, Decker. But remember where you are. Captain... Captain Wainwright. Well, who's the pretty-looking lady? She rode in with the last wagon train. Sure is a humdinger. Captain Wainwright. Excuse me, Decker. Yes, miss? I reckon you didn't notice me standing here. Oh, Been expecting me long, Decker? What? Slater. So you got here at last. Rode all night and half the day. Well, I'll get my horse and... See, what about Purdy? Get your horse and we'll discuss it later. It's better not to talk here. Slater, we're out of sight of the blockhouse. Captain Wainwright and you ain't on the best of terms, are you? Forget that. All he's got is suspicions. <laughs> Which same are not far from the truth, eh? We didn't come out to talk about that. I want to know about Purdy. Decker, it's my sorrowful duty to inform you that the Black Arrow has one less member. He's dead? Dead, but not buried. I didn't wait to attend to that. You're not hurt. Purdy was right handy with his shooting irons. I drew when he wasn't looking. You're a cold-blooded hombre, Slater. So are you, Decker. Matter of strict fact, so's most of us Black Arrow men. Purdy tried to get away with that army payroll all by himself, instead of handing over to the Black Arrow. So I was sent after him, and I got him. A short story with a sudden ending. Keno, Slater, where's the army cash? I haven't got it. What? Slacking your reins, Decker. You're getting red in the face. That's Black Arrow money now. Slater, if you try a trick like Purdy, you'll end like Purdy. Yeah, by whose guns? My guns. <laughs> Keep your boots on, Decker. I'm not trying nothing. Then explain and do it pronto. I said I took care of Purdy. Only Purdy didn't have the army cash on him. He hid it away. Where? Well, that's what took me so long. I had to find him. Then I had to persuade him. Where is it? Last night he finally drew me a map. The cache is buried up north, Decker, at a certain spot on the bank of the Yellow Dog. You can locate it? Like blinking my eyes. <laughs> That's fine, Slater. Fine and dandy. Now we'll get the cache, and the army garrison will begin to desert. You're certain of that? Those soldiers want their pay, and they haven't got it. So? I savvy. They'll leave their rifles and skedaddle. That is, unless their pay arrives. Which it won't. It takes a long time to get to this place. I hope you're figuring right, Decker. How do you mean? Are you certain you know those soldiers? Maybe Captain Wainwright will hold them together. Slater, we're going to see you down. Oh, something up your sleeve, huh? Yeah. But first, you and me will head up the yellow dog and get that pay cash. Yeah. Say, Decker, hmm? that girl. Huh? You know, the one in the blockhouse, one who called the captain. What about her? She's nobody. Just passing through on a covered wagon, heading west. Hmm, I was just wondering. Seems to me I've seen her before someplace. Back east, near Pecos or someplace. Just around the time when I finally caught up with Purdy. Captain 
Captain Wainwright, I may be presuming, but I wonder if you know very much about this man, Decker. Well, not much, miss. What little I know, I don't like. Oh, here, glance at this. Uh, be it known that the bearer of this writing is... Cons- Read the closing. Oh. Marked with the great zeal of the government of the United States of America and signed on this 14th day of the third month of the... Signed by the president. Yes. The president himself. May I have that back, please? Oh, of course. That's dangerous work for a young woman. I serve my country. How can I help you? I'll be leaving here soon, yeah. Captain Wainwright. But I want to tell you two things. First, be on guard against Decker. Hmm? I'm not sure of his exact situation, but be on guard. I will. Anything else? Yes. If a masked man arrives at the post, a masked man riding a great white stallion, accompanied by an Indian, don't take it for granted he's an outlaw. A masked man, you say? He calls his horse Silver. Captain Wainwright, that man can be trusted implicitly. He's the greatest single force for good in the West. Friends, we want to see your commanding officer. Lift your heads so the lamplight will shine it. Wood in blazes, an outlaw. Corporal of the guard, turn out the guard. Don't move now. Hey, what's this? Begging the captain's pardon. Better stand clear. An outlaw and a renegade engine. The guard will take care. Hold on. Can it be that... You, mister, wearing the mask. What's the name of your horse? This is Silver. Private lawyer, your rifle. Inform the corporal that the guard isn't needed. Huh? Look, Captain... Those are orders. Yes, sir. Corporal! Corporal of the guard! Never mind the guard! Masked man, I'm Captain Wainwright, commanding this garrison. How can I help you and the Indian? Does Captain trust us? I'm at your service. Well, you can explain your reasons for trusting us later, Captain. Right now, uh, have any strangers arrived at the blockhouse lately, say, uh, around noon? Yes, a man named, named Slater, I think. He came in from an easterly direction. Did he look like a gunman? He wore his gun strapped down. And that's the murderer we're after. We want that man. Murderer? Well, mister, he left early this afternoon, hours ago. He went with a plainsman named Decker. They headed north up the Yellow Dog River. He must have me then, oh, wait, we go. Wait, wait, Tonto. Captain Wainwright, tell me first, uh, what's your reason for trusting us? I don't know who you are, masked man, but there was a young woman here. I have reason to believe her every word. And she said to put my trust in a masked man riding a stallion named Silver. And that girl, she one who will help us. Captain, I'd like to meet that girl. Uh, where is she? Oh, she too's left the fort. Oh, she's gone? Yes, headed south with a covered wagon. But with the horses you're riding, it should be easy to overtake her. It would be very easy, but we're not going to. What's that? That girl has helped us many times, Captain. Our trails have crossed, but we've never met. And we can't meet this time. She heads south, but Tonto and I must go the other way. We're heading north, north along the Yellow Dog River. The murderer can't escape. Adios, Captain. Get him up, scout! Captain. Captain, sir, are you all right? The way those two hombres galloped off in such a rush, I... Yes, I'm all right. But I'd hate to be in Slater's boots right now. Not with that masked man on my trail. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. Advised by Captain Wainwright that the man they seek is somewhere north in the Yellow Dog River, the Lone Ranger and Tonto head that way at once. But Slater and Decker had a long head start. 
At dawn, they'd already met a group of Decker's outlaw band and reached the spot on the river where Purdy had cashed the stolen army payroll. <laughs> this is spot, Slater. According to Purdy's last words, is it? Yeah, this looks like fresh digging here, don't it? Uh, so it does. Hand him that spade, Bowman. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be deep. Purdy was in a hurry. Let's talk, Dick. I don't favor your lingo, Dicker. You want to handle this spade? Oh, don't be so doggone touchy, Slater. Get the pay cash. Yeah. If it's here, spade scrapes on the gravel like... Hey, what's that? That don't sound like gravel. Sure enough, didn't. Hmm? That's the pay cash. Hey, well, that's, that's, there it is. Well, take this one there. Open it up. See them yeah. silver dollars. All right. That's it. That's the pay cash for the soldiers. We got it. Money to spend. Uh, never mind that. Quiet down. Quiet down, you hombre. Uh huh. Digger, I reckon you figure it's the right time to shake out what you said you had up your sleeve, isn't it? You're smart, Slater. Yeah. Now that we got the cash. We're listening. See this cash, gents? Yeah, sure. It's all yours. That is, providing one thing. All yours. Just as soon as that army blockhouse gets burned to the ground. Now, quiet. Decker hired you, gents, for pay. You gotta do the job before you get paid. We can't burn that blockhouse. There's 50 soldiers there. We'd get wiped out. You could do it easy if there was only 10 soldiers, couldn't you? There's 50, not 10. But there won't be 50, Bowman. That's where you come in. Hmm? I don't savvy, Decker. No, I don't. It's simple as skinning a gopher. You see this? Yeah, it's a kerchief. Kino, a kerchief that belonged to the gent who was driving that covered wagon. I, uh, <laughs> I borrowed it from him when we left the blockhouse. You're taking this kerchief, Bowen. They don't know you at the blockhouse. You'll circle around and ride in front from the south, like you was in a tearing hurry. We'll wait here for you. And here's what you're to do. Hello. There's the man we came after. That must be Slater, the one near the fire. Ah. Uh, him only one wear two guns. But there may be 15, 20 others. Where'd they come from? Captain him say Slater right north with only one man. Then they met these others, Tonto. Oh, look, look, Kimosabe. Those saddlebags slung across the branch of that cottonwood. See the markings on them? Uh, them army saddlebags. Stolen pay cash. Yes. Purdy must have stolen it first, and then Slater went after him. Uh, Black Arrow fight among themselves. What we do now, Kimosabe? I'm not certain. It took us some time to trail them up here. Perhaps they've been up to something in the meantime. We'll just... Uh, Kimosabe... Someone come on trail. Listen, Tonto. He's joining the others. Hey, Doctor! Slater! Bowman! Hey, get on your horses. The way's clear. We can attack the fort. Did you hear that, gents? On your horses. Let's have it. Get up. Get up there. We'll burn the blockhouse to the ground. Get up. Kimasabi, you hear what them say? Them burn blockhouse to ground. How'd they do that? There are 50 soldiers at Blockhouse. That's too many. Those outlaws would dare to attack only if they knew they could win. I don't know what it is, but they must have some trick already planned. Burn, Silver. Follow me, Tonto. Got to reach the Blockhouse ahead of the outlaws. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Steady, Silver, steady. Oh, Scout, oh, fella, oh. Oh, oh, who goes there? Well, I'll be the cactus plant. It's the masked man and his engine par. Where's Captain Wainwright? I thought you two headed up the river. Answer me. There are 20 outlaws riding behind us. We got here first, but there's no telling how soon they'll be here. Outlaws? Uh, them come to burn blockhouse. For the sufferers, sassafras. Mister, we won't have a chance. There's practically nobody here. What's that? Yeah, a rider come hightailing in from the south. He said engine marauders were scheming to dry gulch a covered wagon that left here the day you did. Almost the whole company mustered out after the wagon. Captain Wainwright took his company on the southern trail? Uh-huh. They left at a fast canter. They're miles away. He must have a man who come here not tell truth, huh? It was a trick, soldier. A trick to lure the company out so the bad men could burn this blockhouse. We, well, we got hardly enough men to cover four sides of the stockade. And there's no way to bring the captain back in time. You may be wrong about that, soldier. Huh? You ride on trail, soldiers? That's it. 
Join this garrison, Tonto. Hold Decker and his band off as long as you can. I'll ride for the regiment. Well, uh, hold on there, mister. I admire what you're trying to do, but there isn't any horse that ever ate grass can bring the captain back in time. Words waste minutes. We haven't any to spare. Adios and do your best. Ah, uh, silver him plenty fast. Say, Injun, maybe he can do it. I never saw a horse cover ground the way that big stallion does. Why, he's faster than an antelope. Uh. We go inside and close and bar gate. We get ready for bad men. You call soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Johnson, Douglas, trouble coming. Make post on the palisade. Uh, uh, look at that masked man travel. Into the night galloped the Lone Ranger, heading south along the Yellow Dog. The lights of the army blockhouse fading quickly behind him. His lean body slanting in the saddle, his face close to the mane of the great horse, he urged Silver on to greater effort. That's it, Silver. There's no horse like you in the West. I know you're tired. We've covered many trails. You've got to cover this one faster than ever before. Come on, Silver. Faster, Silver. Faster, big fella. of Indian attack, Captain Wainwright? We got a warning, miss. We've ridden a long way to safeguard you. We've seen no sign of Indians. That's when they're most apt to strike. There's no danger any longer. Our flank is out on the slopes above this trail, and my men are ready. Once this wagon cuts out of the hills onto the plains, we can leave you and return to the blockhouse. I know these Indians. They like the hills. Captain, you've seen the masked man? Yes, he stopped at the post. Who is he? That was the Lone Ranger. The, the Lone Ranger? Well, no wonder the government trusts him. He headed north. Is something wrong? I can't be certain. There's nothing definite. Set your but... mind at rest, miss. Look how fit and ready my men are. <laughs> when I think the Decker said they might desert because their pay money didn't arrive. He doesn't know the quality of American soldiers. I wish you'd been able to talk to Decker before he left the blockhouse. I'll talk to him good if he ever returns. I'm certain. Oh, Captain. What in the world? There's a horseman coming up the trail behind the column. Captain, it's the Lone Ranger. What's he doing here? I intend to find out, miss. He may... Oh, wait, aren't you going to meet him? It's better that he and I never meet, Captain. Much as I like to, uh, I, I'll retire inside the wagon and take this, please. Well, uh, well, very well, miss. Captain, Captain Wainwright. Goodbye, miss. Get up, boy. What is it, mass man? Captain Wainwright, turn your column, head back for the blockhouse. Steady, man. What's that you say, mister? Bring your column and head back. I've ridden all night to warn you. Becker's leading a band of outlaws down the Yellow Dog. Plans to set fire to the blockhouse. Well, we were warned that Indians were planning it to attack... It was a trick. One of Decker's own men did that at Decker's orders. Turn your column back to the army post. You hear that, men? Outlaws at the blockhouse. That's right, Captain. We'll column up horse wheel at the gallop. Follow that mass man. Lead the way, Silver. Hit the trail. The army blockhouse stood dark and square its stockade barely visible against the night sky. From their position in the heavy woods that fringed the Yellow Dog River, Decker's outlaws lay in wait. They held their fire while Decker and Slater held a council. Last time we made a sortie, I counted the rifle flashes, Decker. Mm -hmm. There can't be more than four of them guarding the whole blockhouse. It ought to be dawn pretty soon. Yeah. Where's Bowman? I sent him to get some more. We got piles of dry wood all cut and tied in bundles. They'll catch fire like tinder. Tina, we're ready to start. Bowman, you and the rest of the boys pour a heavy fire from this side, Savvy. Those few soldiers will come to this wall, figuring it's a big attack. All set. Now, where's that wood? Yonder. Good enough. On your horse, Slater. Look. You and me will take those bundles of wood, circle around the far side of the bunkhouse, light them, and drop them right inside the stockade. Right? It'll be a cinch so long as the shooting is heavy from this direction. I'll see to that. Better get moving. It'll be getting light soon. Kino, get up, horse. You can start shooting any time, Bowman. <laughs> Start shooting! Flashes of burning powder speckled the darkness of the woods as the bad men poured a hail of bullets against the stockade. The heavy fire forced the defenders to leave the rear unguarded to meet the threatened assault. And meanwhile, Decker and Slater reached the other side of the blockhouse. They're all over there, Decker. Light up those torches, then we go. Yeah, we'll have that blockhouse blazing inside of five minutes. Yeah, give me a light. Here's a match. Hit your horse for the stockade. We'll show them. What the? Decker, a bugle. It's the cavalry. Come on, Silver. Take your hands to the others, Captain. I'll take care of these two. Smash, man. Drop the wood and shoot them down. Wait for them, Silver. They mustn't get away. Hey, hey, look out. Hey, look out. The main column swept around the blockade and fell on the outlaws in the woods. That's 
The masked man, drawing and shooting from his hip, sent the guns of his opponents flying. In a few minutes, it was all over. My hands Keep your hands raised high. Got your horses around to the riverside. If you try to get away, I might aim for you instead of your guns. How'd you get them here so soon? You got us by surprise. Silver travels fast. And so does the United States Army. You hear that bugle? Your men are captured, Decker. Your Black Arrow plan has been defeated. That is all your plans will be defeated. I see you got the masked man. Hoskins. Yes, Captain. Take these two and put them in the guardhouse. Captain, you might tell your men that they'll find these outlaws have your stolen payroll. Should be in their saddlebags. Our payroll? Yippee! Uh, I mean, yes, sir. In the guardhouse at the W Armories. Move along. Jim Masabi. Hunter, glad you're safe. It's good to see you too, Tonto. By the way, mister, this is the first chance I've had. Here's a note for you. A note? Yes, from the woman in the covered wagon. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll return to my post. Oh, but first, a salute. Adios. Adios, Captain. Kimasabi, you see that? Captain give you salute. Army salute. Mm -hmm. That great honor. Yes, Tano, but look at this note. Can you make out those two words? Uh, it say, Ghost Canyon. Ghost Canyon. Where that? I don't know, Kimasabi. But wherever it is, that's where we're heading. Get him up, Scout. Get him up, Bill Silver! you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>